you're starting to build a worm farm, it's very important that you have a solid base. So what we went with here is a double insulated refrigeration box used for shipping. This is double lined with plastic on the inside and outside and it's filled with insulating foam. But you can use any Rubbermaid container and it'll still work the same. All you gotta do is contain the dirt. Worms need four important things when it comes to farming them. They need insulation, they need ventilation, they need food, and they need moisture. So what we're doing here is we're drilling holes in the bottom of the box in order to ventilate air and to release extra moisture and water, but also have drainage so they don't get too much water. Here's a good diagram to look at when you want to understand how the components of a worm farm work. We didn't use this many container layers, but you can also use layers of organic material like we're going to do. So we started out with peat moss, cow manure that came in bags from our local dairy, and pine bark mulch. Just warm for now. Open the yellow coat. One thing that worms need is a food source. Most people use compost, but we're gonna have a little extra newspaper in there. Little do people know that newspaper is a good source of food for worms, and it's very easy to get if you have a local journal, like we do. We just get their misprints, that won't go into circulation. Here we're adding the pine bark nuggets as the first base layer. It's large in size, so it's gonna stop the majority of large material from filtering out the bottom, but it's just a base layer. Then we're going to layer on top with newspaper for the worms that want to dig down. It's going to be an organic source of food that will allow them to have something to eat. But we're just going to keep layering this base material that's organic with newspaper and then we're going to wet it to get a good layer started and we're just going to keep repeating that. Bags are tough, they just don't seal good on the corner, so if you drop them, they go everywhere. Overall, we did about four layers of this mixture of peat moss, cow manure, and newspaper. Keep layering it on. It's, it's not an exact science. All you're doing is making it so that the worms have plenty of food and organic material to filter through whenever they're moving around and eating and whatnot. When you're done, it's very important to get plenty of water into the system. Right here, it looks like we're soaking it down really hard but after flipping through it you can see that the first layer is wet but the second layer is dry. Just make sure to mix it in and get it good and wet because worms love moisture. When it comes to stocking your worm farm there is no specific place that you have to get worms. So right here we're just throwing in worms that we pulled out of our backyard. We got a couple of good red wigglers.
Another easy way to get worms is to find a person local that has already started their own worm farm and is selling them by the pound. Right here we just got 10 pounds of red wriggler worms for probably $20 I think. Uh, we just dumped that out into the bin. Chicken bone. Whoa, look at that one. Big compost. I can't tell if that's an egg or not. Yeah, that's an egg. You see it? Mm-hmm. About 10 eggs. 10 worms will come onto that in perfect conditions. What we were going for with this worm farm was to be able to use local material in order to sustain the entire environment. So right here we have coffee grounds from our local coffee shop, which is a great food source for worms. The only thing you want to be careful of when using coffee grounds is it can be very acidic and damaging to the worms if concentrated in a specific area. But normal household compost works just as good. Once you're done adding your organic material food source, we added a final layer of newspaper on top just to hold in any excess moisture that would escape from the top due to evaporation. When choosing a final lid, it's important to make sure that you have a way to get water into the system while also keeping the entire container dark enough to not harass the worms with light. And there you have it, all done. We went with Uncle Jim's worm farm as an extra source of worms. We really want this worm farm to get going and take off, so we're throwing in as many sources of worms as we could. I believe this is a one pound bag. I think it was about $40 or so, but just look at how many worms are in it. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel out and it helps you to push our videos out to more people. We hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.